Hello, welcome to Children's Time with Downtown Disciples. Downtown Disciples is a progressive faith community doing justice, loving kindness, and walking humbly together. We are LGBTQ affirming and we proclaim Black Lives Matter. We say that every time we gather because it matters to us. It also matters to me that you're here today. I'm so glad that you could join me for our uh, Monday children's time for children of all ages uh, for a short period of time of singing and storytelling and wondering together about this amazing world that we live in and this one that we call God. So I'm just going to check and make sure um, that everything is looking good as far as the volume and uh, picture and then we'll get started. Feel free to chat uh, to me and let me know that you are here and that you can hear me okay and see me okay. Also, feel free to invite your friends to join us. Today is a special uh, day for our worship because it's uh, Pentecost week and birthday week. So I have some special things to share with you. And also I'll bring out my dogs, um, Bob Dylan and Lassie at the end to say hello. Thank you for your patience and I'm going to light the candle uh, to remind us that God is with us. Let us enjoy the light. One of the ways that we talk with God and connect to one another is by singing to God or about God and with one another. We're gonna sing a song that you probably know and I hope that you will sing along at home. Singing is one of the ways that not only we communicate um, with the Spirit and with God, but it's also a way that we can bring peace to our bodies and minds and spirits. It's a way that we can bring comfort uh, to ourselves and to each other. So we're gonna sing This Little Light of Mine and we'll use some hand motions for that. Uh, you probably know it, it's This Little Light of Mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This Little Light of Mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And then we'll do Shine All Over Iowa and then Shine All Over the World. So won't you sing with me? This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Shine all over Iowa, I'm gonna let it shine. Shine all over Iowa, I'm gonna let it shine. Shine all over Iowa, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Shine all over the world, I'm gonna let it shine. Shine all over the world, I'm gonna let it shine. Shine all over the world, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Amen. Thanks for singing along. On this next song, we're also going to use our hands 
And you might remember this song because we've uh, sung it before at children's time. So it's, Oh God, we adore you, and we lay our lives before you, how we love you. Then the next verse will be, Jesus, we adore you. And the verse after that will be, Spirit, we adore you. Let us sing together and to our God. Oh God, we adore you, and we lay our lives before you. How we love you. Jesus, we adore you, and we lay our lives before you. How we love you, Spirit, we adore you, and we lay our lives before you. How we love you. Amen. Now I'm going to invite us to be still for a moment before our story begins, just to rest and to listen for the voice of God. Our worship space looks a little bit different today because we're in a new season of the church. We were in Easter and now we're in a season called Pentecost. Yesterday was the first day of Pentecost. It's known as the birthday of the church. And so we'll have a little story about Pentecost. Pentecost also happens to be the birthday of Downtown Disciples. So we had drive-in church yesterday and virtual worship and we celebrated our birthday. So I wanna thank everybody that helped us celebrate. I got to see some of you, um, some of the children in your cars yesterday, and it was so wonderful to see your beautiful faces again. And some of you decorated your cars for our birthday. They looked fabulous. Thank you for doing that. And sometimes during the worship, we honked our horns and flashed our lights, and it was really fun to have you doing that and participating with us in worship in that way. So uh, now I want to tell you a little bit about our worship space today. Instead of white for Easter, today we have red for Pentecost. And maybe you can see the red flame here. Uh, that reminds us that the Spirit of God is like a fire and our story will tell us a little bit about that the spirit of god our story says is also um, like the wind and i have my my window open here at home and so maybe you can hear the wind from time and time to time because it's blowing um, pretty strong outside today i'm going to invite you to uh, join me in this story Listening to the story is one of the ways that we listen for God and the voice of God in old, old, ancient stories. The story we have today comes from uh, the Bible, from a book in the Bible called Acts that was written by someone we call Luke. So let us prepare to hear this old, old, old story that's been passed down to us from one generation to the next. Long time ago, after Jesus was born, after he died, and 
after he lived again. His friends and followers still gathered together. On this special day, they were gathered together in Jerusalem. Jerusalem is a holy city where people, the Jewish people, would gather together for wonderful festivals and parties and to worship and to go to the temple. All kinds of people gathered in Jerusalem for the festival of Pentecost. There were other festivals they joined in Jerusalem for as well. But on this particular occasion, they were there for Pentecost. All kinds of people gathered, people that spoke different languages, children and parents and friends joined together. Some of Jesus' uh, followers were still gathering together and went to Jerusalem. And when they gathered together for Pentecost, they gathered to remember and to give thanks. They gathered to remember how God is with them. And they gathered to give thanks for the harvest. Because without the harvest, people wouldn't eat. So it's a thanksgiving type of gathering when people gather together to give thanks for food and land and farming and God and friends. They were all gathered together in Jerusalem, different kinds of people people who spoke different languages, and all of a sudden, there was a great wind. And it was as if tongues of fire were on people, that they landed on people. It was very different experience for them. The wind and the fiery presence of God was everywhere, all around them, in all of the people, so that they could now understand each other, even though they spoke different languages. They could hear each other and understand one another. And some people thought that something very terrible and scary was going on. They said, these people have just had too much to drink. But Peter said, that's not what's happening. No, it's the Spirit of God who is with them. That's why they can understand. It's just like the prophets of old said, one day, the Spirit of God is going to fall on all people. And young people are going to have visions. And old people are going to dream dreams. And the Spirit of God is going to be on everyone. Amen. So now's the time that we wonder together about the story. I'm wondering... If you have any time in your life that you have a hard time understanding other people, and if you ever have trouble understanding other people, what do you do about that? And I invite you to chat your, your responses uh, in Facebook. And if you're too young to do that, you can ask your parents to do that for you. And because we all wonder about the story together. That's how we, how we grow in our faith, is by thinking about these stories together because nobody has all the answers. So I'm wondering, do you ever have trouble understanding people? 
And if so, what do you do about that? I'm also wondering if you've ever had a time when you felt like God was with you and what did that feel like? I wonder what these people were feeling when the Spirit came like a wind and fire and helped them understand each other. What did that feel like? I wonder if you have ever thought about the Spirit of God and where do you think the Spirit of God lives? I wonder what the Spirit of God is doing right now. It seems like there's a lot of people that are not understanding each other right now. I wonder what the Spirit of God is going to do about that. Thank you for wondering with me today. I'm going to go get my dogs, Lassie and Bob Dylan. Also, before we go, since Pentecost is the birthday of the church and it's the birthday of downtown disciples, I brought a birthday hat and a birthday sign. And I thought we should probably sing happy birthday to the church. Will you help me sing? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear church. Happy birthday to you. Here's my friend, Bob Dylan. He wants to sing happy birthday too. Hey Bob, can you tell the kids hi? Say hi. Thank you for the kiss, Bob. I wonder if Lassie's gonna come. Lassie, come here girl. Lassie does not like the camera. I can't really figure out what she doesn't like about it, but she doesn't, so maybe she's not gonna come say hi today. We'll try to get her out next time. But Bob likes the camera and uh, he wants to say hi. Oh, maybe Lassie's coming. Hey girl, come here. Lassie, here I am. Come here, come say hi. Come say hi to the kids. Come on. Come here, girl. There we go. Here's Lassie, she decided to come along. Lassie's getting old and she doesn't always feel good every day. But I think she's having a pretty good day today. Thanks so much for being here. I hope your day is full of the Spirit of God. May the one who loves you best bless you to be a blessing.